y'all, it's me, Siren and the Dragon. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Like, comment, share the video. So, let's get into it. Okay, so, <laughs> I am going to pull from these first, just to get a clue of what's going on. <laughs> um, Intuition. It's time for you to trust your intuition with third eye on the bottom of the deck. Ooh, somebody third eye popping, okay? Third eye needed to meditate. And as you balance out that third eye, you already know the solar plexus is going to be balanced out with it. So it's going to help you to gain the confidence that you need and trust in the universe because there's some things that's unfolding here, possibly when it comes to your love life. Yeah, some type of yeah, love, yeah, heart can loss, and then um, love begins. So, meditation will help you clear up whatever is going on in your heart chakra. What's going on in your heart chakra could be, um, it could be affecting your your intuition, your ability to see what's really going on. Okay. Someone needs to take a break as well. And then we got crown chakra here so that you can get more insight um, from God. What's this? Obstacles and challenges. That came out kind of sideways. So yeah, your intuition will help you to avoid these obstacles and challenges and ground your, in ground your energy. So meditation is very much key here. This, yeah, meditation will help you build up your spiritual strength as well. What else here for the collective? Get one more. And partnerships and alliances. So, yeah, there's people who are working with you in the spirit realm, okay? So, if you feel alone, just know you're not. There is people who are um, seeing how you how strong you are um, spiritually and that and your, your help is coming in. Your partner, there's people partnering up with you. You have alliances in the spiritual realm, okay, that are helping you to stay strong, helping you to fight back whatever battles that you have, okay? There's some things that you don't see. There could, yeah, there could be some things you're going through that you don't exactly see. Um, you could be going through, you know, there could be people sending you, a, trying, to, trying to create obstacles in your life, could be trying to send you, you know, negative energy to like delay things and cause you to get into a space where you're like depressed or something like that. But I feel like you're stronger than all of that. Intuitively, you already know this. And this situation, whatever this is, is coming to an end soon. Like I said, you know this already with this high priestess. You're well aware of what's going on spiritually. Um, and yeah, so just be grateful because something, yes, yeah, the, the sun is shining on this situation. Right, somebody's getting exposed. Justice here, justice is being served. Somebody's getting exposed because your spiritual strength has pushed you to the next level, okay? So let's see, what's the universe here for the collective? Universe. So God's asking you to, you know, just keep moving forward. Keep moving forward and, you know, keep working. I also see that, right, it could be a part of your life purpose to travel for work. You could be traveling the world for work. Yeah, this is going to take, this is going to take a long time or this is like, you need to invest in a passport or something here soon. Or whatever seeds that you planted, they're coming to you. <clears throat> yeah, you've manifested this. You could be traveling around the world with a lover as well. So what's this rest and rejuvenate for the collective? Rest and rejuvenate. So yeah, whatever, you know... Whatever you is all up where where you're all up in your head, 
and you're just like really anxious about something, it's time to take a step back and meditate on it. Partner up with spirit and allow spirit to guide you towards the correct thing to do. Um, because there is, there's something you can do here. Okay, there's something you can do with the five of, you could be five of cups, 10 of wands, somebody's in regret. Somebody also could be in regret about something being over with, or this could be some uh, competition. Your comp whoever is in competition with you regrets getting themselves in competition with you because they're weighed down by their actions and their choices. And now it's like they're going to have to put a rest to what's going on because of the way that you are able to stay strong. Like the way you're so balanced, like they can't compete. They don't understand how you're still so balanced. How can you still be picking up on what you're picking up on? How do you how do you know, you know, somebody's somebody's really somebody's all in their head about you. Okay, and something coming to arrest. But I also feel like this will help you with you resting and rejuvenating. This will help you like with your depression. If you feeling kind of depressed, you feeling all over the place, you feeling overwhelmed or really anxious, stuck in your head. You got so much stuff on your plate. You don't know what to do. It's time to take a step back and just meditate with the five of five of wands now here we got five of cups five of swords and now five of wands there's a lot of conflict going on but i feel like here again just take some time to meditate and things are going to be balanced out there's changes major changes coming in here major changes also with your intuition here this could be involving a pisces yep use your intuition trust your intuition it's time to sharpen your intuition what's this intuitive intuition card here Intuition card for the collective. What is that? High priest. So, yeah, you're highly intuitive. And um, you have, like, a high uh, spiritual ranking. So, it's like you're able to see through. Not You're able to, you're able to, like, have many different conversations at once and still be able to trust your intuition. Like, you can look into a black mirror and see the truth and still keep moving forward like i see you like multitasking juggling a lot you could be stuck in your head though but you sort of just trust your intuition you, you got you're like should i do this or should i do that but if you trust your intuition you know what to do you already know you just have to trust it just trust what you're seeing trust what you're hearing you're the queen of cups nine of cups you're highly intuitive okay you're highly intuitive you can see through all illusions you can pick up um you know how to pick the right choice. You just have to sit down and meditate and look for it, okay? And yeah, Ace of King of Swords, Ace of Swords. This is true. You are very intelligent, okay? Very intelligent. And there's some type of opportunity that's coming in here for you. Some type of commitment is coming in because you're highly intuitive. You're a queen of cups extremely intuitive this queen of cups there could be a king of pentacles coming towards you or you're just in a king of pentacles yeah there's a king of pentacles coming towards you there's a king of pentacles coming towards you to partner up with you this is somebody who's very grounded very stable could be a, a family man um or a businessman this would be a businessman who wants to come towards you and partner up with you based off of your intuition and your ability to see through illusions yeah, they want to, they want to, um, this is a part of your destiny that you pulled out, you've closed out some type of cycles. Um, and now it's like, you're able to step in your North node and accept this as the Empress. You're the Empress here. Somebody wants to come towards you with a will of fortune. Yeah, because you like, finally you laid to rest some type of illusions that were going on within this community here. There was a bunch of there was a bunch of illusions being casted around you and who you were, but I feel like all of that is over now. What's this third eye chakra? Oh baby, come back. Third eye chakra for the collective. Third eye chakra. Okay, so you went through a lot. 
because of your intuition. There could have been people always attacking your intuition, trying to say that you were not mentally stable and that you, um, yeah, you're strong as hell. Your third eye chakra is strong as hell. Your ability to see through illusions is very strong, okay? You're very powerful in this in this instinct. Your third eye chakra is like, that mofo got, that mofo might as well have eyelashes and like glitter on it, like, <laughs> You're very, very spiritually in tune, okay? Very spiritually in tune. So what is this uh, crown chakra here for the collective? And you're about, you're, you're, uh, you're about to get a wish fulfillment. Like all your wishes about to come true. Everything you could have wanted to ask for, anything you wrote down, it's about to come true. And this is like this judgment. Somebody judged you as like a broken hearted girl, but it's like, you're not that. You're so, you're so far from that. Somebody wants to end you, but it's not over. It's not over. You could be a Scorpio as well. What's this crown chakra, please? Pisces, yeah. With the high priestess, you're highly intuitive. And somebody sees you as like a, a, the ultimate wish fulfillment. Like, they know. They do you also be like a, a medium and you could talk to uh, the dead. King of Wands. So there's somebody here that's highly attracted to you and your ability to, to like shine and, and heal. Like your healing abilities, somebody's highly attracted to that. Um, this King of Wands. Who's this King of Wands? Who that? Who's the King of Wands? King of Wands clarified with a Temperance. That's Sagittarius energy. Um, but I feel like you're you're an Earth Angel. You could be the King of Wands. Yeah, the Earth Angel. Well, this is probably somebody else though here who's who's been um, possibly somebody's been having dreams about you. You're you as the High Priestess, who is this person's wish fulfillment, this Temperance King of Wands energy, this Earth Angel. Either you're the Earth Angel, or this person is the Earth Angel, or both. With the Four of Wands here, there could be a stagnancy and some type of union that's destined to come together um what is this heart heartache and loss heartache and loss so somebody um mourns the the loss of this relationship somebody feels like they uh, were foolish within this situation here and they want to um they want to make a choice to like partner up with you yeah somebody wants somebody about to make a choice to try to come and carry some type of cup of something to you and they they've taken a long time they haven't been moving they haven't been moving with the chariot in reverse what's this partnerships and alliances partnerships and alliances so you have a lot of different resources here with the with the world card there's also something coming in full circle seven of wands so um you have a lot of people spiritually physically protecting you that you probably don't even know about or they they're not actually speaking to you and telling you that they're protecting you but they are um what's this partnerships and alliances yeah because somebody believes in your destiny they believe in they believe in who you are they know who you are so then somebody coming in here to bring judge um to make a judgment call and bring justice towards you here. There's some karma being served. Good karma though. Um good, it could be good and good for you and bad for whoever was teamed up against you. If there was anybody teamed up against you, yeah. Yep. Judgment, nine of swords, five of swords. Yeah. This person also here from the king of wands temperance person they could have like 
they could have partnered up with people to work against you and bring you down. And this caused you to walk away and like get into your get get more invested into your business, right? They could have um they could have like tried to like come in and like love bomb you and like be all like, oh I I, I rock with you, da, 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 and like just to get you open and get your nose wide open and then they ghosted you and um was talking bad about you behind your back. But I feel like <clears throat> You seen through what was going on. And so you decided to just, you know, move on and focus on your work. And it's, you know, just give yourself the self-love that you deserve. And this caused a tower moment here. You choosing to walk away. Because somebody wasn't expecting you to do this. Yeah, somebody wasn't expecting you to do this. Somebody wasn't expecting you to turn away and just boss up like that. They was expecting you know for for you to be all over them and like stroking their ego like somebody had a huge huge oversized ego where they felt like everybody has to kiss their ass and i feel like you just wasn't going for it your your intuition told you that it was time to end things because this person wasn't on your level and they weren't trying to be on your level so i'm um, not too sure what this person wants or why they're even coming back yeah this is somebody from your past but they're coming in whoever this is yeah coming in out from the cold with the heartbreak but somehow it's like you not chasing after them or doting over them broke their heart or they ended up getting their heart broken by the same people who they was partnered up with against you and so they ended up feeling kind of silly for what they did because they know at the end of the day you didn't deserve that somebody could be going through a yeah they ghost somebody ghosted you or you ghosted this person and walked away you was like you know what you on the games and i, I don't nah i don't got time for that yeah see what your intuition told you that this person had more than one partnership this person was also in a player type energy just doing the most okay so, partnerships and alliances, yeah, you, yeah, somebody partnered up against you, but I also see there is some partners, somebody partnered up against you and got served karma. Then I also see that there's some partnerships here in the spiritual realm that are present for you that um, are not exactly in front of your face, but they are there. Yeah, somebody, excuse me. Somebody could be using um, with this other person here with that King of Wands, temperance person. Somebody could be using some type of magic to try and block you up or block this person up from giving to you and so that they can continue to give to them. Yeah. And now somebody's, but somebody's magic got rejected. Four of Cups. Their magic got rejected. Because, um, you know, that stuff only works on somebody who's in their south node. If you're, if somebody's in their south node bullshitting around, lollygagging, don't, don't know what the hell they're here for or why they're here, then that you can do black magic on that person and that's going to hurt them. But if somebody's in, or in, even if they're not in their life purpose and they're just in a high vibration... You can't hurt somebody in a high vibration. You can't hurt somebody who's happy, loving, joyful, gives without expecting to receive anything. You can't you can't do black magic on people like that. So it backfired. This person could have also had a had this person could have been under a spell that was making them treat you that way as well. Um, but that's no excuse because we are grown. In the same way that you're able to battle and fight all these spells and all this stuff, that person who is clearly of divinity as well is able to fight and, you know, see through these illusions and fight back as well. But they chose not to. And also, I feel like you could have warned this person and told this person that they were under a spell and they chose not to believe you. So again, there's no excuse. Spell work is no excuse. I don't, I personally, I don't cut nobody no slack because I shoot, I, people throw black magic at me every day. I don't cut nobody no slack. You still got to do what you got to do. You still are, you know, when you're, when you're a divine being, you're of divinity. You don't get to make excuses. 
those excuses don't, you can't go to God and be like, oh, I didn't serve my life purpose because they was throwing black magic at me. So you gonna tell me all these millions of angels that I assigned to help you, you chose not to use them and to fold up under some black magic behind some demons that's on a lower level than you? Are you serious? That's how I feel like God gonna be like, are you serious? Are you for real? You wanna try again? <laughs> So let's see, obstacles and challenges. Yeah, like I said, they were trying to do obstacles and challenges, create obstacles and challenges around you in this person, whoever this is. Um, yeah, page of wands, somebody was just young, just throwing stuff. There's also a message. Somebody could have sent a message with the devil here, a dark message. There's a dark messenger. Somebody's a dark messenger. So they come in and they be like, oh, you know, such and such. Boom, that's the manipulation. They have a gift of gab. They're able to speak and distort, you know, the energy and make you kind of like, they make you forget what it is that you're meant to do or where you're, where you're meant to go. They do, um, I don't know if anybody here has seen, what is it, the Umbrella Academy with the lady, with the girl where she be like, I heard a rumor that da 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 there's somebody here who was somebody was dealing with somebody like that could have been a capricorn who was creating obstacles and challenges just with just by coming in and saying a bunch of stuff and manipulating okay that was that was this person's magic the way that they spoke and the things that they did um how they manipulated the situation to create obstacles and challenges for you in your life they could have done this between you and this person or they could have just done this with you in other partnerships and this is keeping you, kept you single to your, kept this person single. Somebody want to keep somebody single and feeling rejected. Four of cups out in the cold, five of wands, 10 of swords in betrayal energy. Somebody wanted, wanted you to feel single, rejected, out in the cold, you know, always in conflict. Like nobody ever wanted you or something like that. Nine of swords just in your, <clears throat> excuse me, in your head. That was also a part of the magic. That's that's what they wanted for you. They wanted you to feel rejected, like you wasn't shit, okay? <clears throat> that's why they were spreading all these rumors and talking all this crap about you. Yeah. Yeah, but you still made the choice to boss up with the tower here and the Queen of Pentacles. Or this Queen of Pentacles, this Capricorn could have been running around, sneaking around, telling all these lies and stuff. So, yeah, she was the one who was causing all the obstacles. This uh, this could be a Taurus. This could be a Virgo. Um, yeah, but it's a tower moment. Something is over with with the death card. Something is done. Two of swords, somebody's getting blocked out. Ace of swords, the truth is coming out. Judgment here. And then the hermit. So somebody's about to get judged. <clears throat> somebody's about to get judged somebody's um this queen of cups you the queen of cups you have um what the eight of wands and the ace of cups your intuition has you expressing and using expressing yourself and using your intuition to express yourself has people walking away from whoever this capricorn was that was lying on you and um spreading all these rumors about you to keep you and um this king of wands apart from one another yeah, using magic, the magic over the emperor. Okay, you're the empress, so they were doing magic over your divine counterpart, right? To keep them, to keep them having their backs turned to you, and keep them single. Okay. Yep, but something's been exposed here with the sun card and the page of page of swords. The gossip's been exposed. Somebody's lies have been exposed. Six of wands here, queen of swords. You speak the truth. All right. You speak the truth. <clears throat> there also could be a queen of swords here that's coming in to speak the truth as well. Somebody knows something that, um, somebody's about to expose something that that queen of pentacles, that Capricorn, she, didn't, she never seen that part coming in. Somebody actually coming and choosing to expose her for the back, black magic that she was doing. This person could have had a hand in it or they could have, she could have put a spell on them. And when they realize now they're like, damn, I got to help such and such because this really been doing 
black magic on everybody. You know, she's been doing black magic on the family, black magic on the friends, black magic on the community, just doing black magic, just throwing it everywhere on everybody for the sake of pushing this one person down. And this one person, this empress is actually helping people. So yeah, Queen of Cups, Emperor. This could have been a person, uh, the Emperor's baby mother or something like that. But here goes the Tower moment. Tower moment. Somebody about to be stuck. Somebody about to be stuck with the actions that they chose. What's this uh, spiritual strength? Spiritual strength. <clears throat> spiritual strength. Yeah. Somebody tried to, um, they were sending stuff to you to make you sick. They were sending stuff to try to end the Empress. They were trying to send a bunch of stuff. They sent so much stuff to you. But you're stronger than the demons. You're the Empress. There's no way a demon's going to triumph over an Empress. I mean, unless, if the Empress doesn't know she's an Empress, then yes. But this Empress, they tried, look, they cast the audience. They were doing death spells over this Empress, trying to kill her. Trying to kill her money, trying to kill her family, trying to kill her kids. They was doing a bunch of stuff. Sending demons to her children at night in their sleep. They was doing a bunch of stuff to this empress. Doing things to keep her single. Feeling um, left out in the cold. Feeling like she, you know, keep her in a, in, in poverty or um, with low money or something like that. Somebody tried to do a lot of stuff to this empress, but it did not work. Spiritual strength. They tried to make this empress sick. Attack this person's womb. Attack this person's throat. Um, yeah, five of wands, ten of swords, and star. They sent a lot of star, a lot of conflict to end this star. Nine, nine of swords. Like I said, a lot of things were going on at nighttime. Look at this shit. Star. The empress is the star, right? She's the one who has the healing abilities to be able to heal whoever. With her voice, with her touch, with her eyes, she can heal. Okay? This person was um, being spiritually attacked at nighttime. This is, you know, somebody at night. At night with that moon card. Somebody was sending demons to this person. Okay? This person was being attacked by all types of dragons. All types of, like, spaceship-sized cockroaches. I mean, <laughs> anything you can imagine was coming at this empress. Okay? Somebody was trying to kill this person in their sleep. Somebody was trying to kill this empress in her sleep. They were attacking her womb. They were, they were, I mean, the list goes on and on. The empress is not an empress because she is, um, she's, she's like this just, oh, beautiful person. No, she's an empress because she's a warrior and she gonna some shit up. Spiritually, she gon' she gonna pick up the sword and go and not complain about it and keep it moving. I mean, yeah, it may get tough, but I feel like this empress, you're not gonna let it go. You're not gonna just fold up, you know, you're not gonna just be you ain't about to fold. Don't care what's coming at you. You not gonna fold. Yeah, there was a community of people doing this. To try to keep this person entrapped inside their mind and keep them from speaking. There's a community of, uh, it was like a, a, a witch coven or something like that. This secret little cove. The same people who were running around saying that this empress was like doing black magic. They could have said this empress was doing black magic, but really they were the ones doing black magic and using black magic to get everybody to believe them at the same time. And it was a bunch of them. I mean, I'm talking like a community of people was coming for this empress and this was all people who were attached to the emperor so this emperor was under attack as well um but the emperor was too worried about you know trying to keep people happy or liking him or something like that and the empress on the other hand she's a hermit she's by herself she's gonna she's not she's not concerned about who likes her or why they like her or don't like her or whatever the case may be. She's not concerned with that. So um, I feel like this rejection here with the emperor and the empress, this was divine protection because at the end of the day, they were on two different sides of their journey. Someone had healed and found themselves, stepped in their North Node, stepped in their destiny, was doing what they were supposed to do. The other person was still stuck on people pleasing, trying to get everybody to like them, trying to be all up in everybody's face, trying to be seen. Um, 
And yeah, they, they, I mean, that energy was just going to clash at the end of the day because the Empress is somebody who gets attention whether they try to or not. So this Emperor was in a, ooh, look at me, look at me, look at me energy. And he put himself in competition with the Empress at a certain point. Because if you know that you're supposed to, you're supposed to stand next to somebody, you're not going to try and do anything to de devalue them. You're not going to run around behind their back and talk bad about them. You're not going to do that. But this emperor, that's what he was doing. Next. Yeah. <clears throat> tower. It's a tower coming out here. Tower for this lover situation. Tower. What else? Yeah. Somebody's trapped inside their head or they're about to go to jail for whatever they were doing behind the scenes. Yep. With the police car somebody's all tied up with the police investigation or the police are, are are watching this person yeah they're watching whoever this was that was coming and attacking you empress this queen of wands in reverse this promiscuous person who was sending all this conflict all this all this gossip and conflict they sent all this stuff to you and now they're they're about to be facing jail time or something like that here Let's see what's we're gonna clarify this. I just like to hear that from time to time to kind of break up the energy. All right, so what's this tower? What's coming in? What's the tower here? Oh, sorry. So I heard I need to get the scoop cards. So let's see what's the scoop. Scoop. Yay. Yay. The tower, whatever this tower is, you can sit back and relax. You don't have nothing to worry about. Okay, what's the tower here? The tower, tower, tower. I heard witness protection. Somehow you're in witness protection or something like that. Blockages. Somebody was trying to create a tower for you, but they got blocked. They blocked. They got blocked. They was somebody was hiding from their truest self. What else is this tower? Who is hiding? Who is hiding? Phase will soon end. This tower. So something major is about to happen. Possibly somebody coming in to apologize. But something major is about to happen here. And this is about to um, change. Things are about to change. I just get a heavy change energy. Somebody's trying to block you up. But I feel like it's like somebody's about to be exposed for whatever they were doing. Like where they weren't being real. Somebody knows that. There was some type of block. The blockage was somebody being unauthentic. Somebody wasn't being true to their soul. And I really feel as though this is that emperor. Because the emperor um, and the empress here, they, they, they're divine counterparts for a reason. So there was some type of divinity here as far as within the connection. But somebody decided that they didn't want to be honest about that. And they wanted to put on a show for the city. So let's see, what's Eight of Swords? And they wanted to make this Empress feel as though, you know, she was confused, right? She was confused and they started sending evil eye, possibly, you know, putting this person on blast. Like, oh yeah, this person be all over me, da 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 And really it's like, it ain't even like that. Why are you, why are you doing that? <laughs> what? <laughs> but anyways, I feel like somebody, you're about to get an upgrade, okay? You guarded and protected your heart. You you guarded and protected your energy from this person. And so because you did that, you're going to get an upgrade. You see things from a different perspective. You're looking at things from a higher view and you're just like, you know what? It's not even, it's not even worth it. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not worth it. And uh, whoever this was wishing ill intentions on you, 
um, they're going to be confused at how in the hell did you still continue to get an upgrade despite everything they tried to do? How did they, how are you still able to move forward after I sat here and tried to dog you out and I was being fake and, you know, laughing behind your back? How did, how did that happen? Right? So here we go with the chariot. What's this chariot here? Chariot. Purify your energy. Just keep purifying your energy, okay? So you can move forward. What's this chariot? New line of study. Somebody's learning something new. Moving forward, learning something new. The chariot here. Guarding and protecting your energy. You really getting the hell on. Yep, and somebody's getting caught up. That's that. That's caught up. Somebody's spell work is catching up to them. Whoever was doing spell work, this emperor could have started doing spell work over you at some point. And now it's all catching up to them because you don't. Why would you do spell work on the person who shares the same soul as you? It's going to come back to you. Whatever you do to that person you're doing to yourself, y'all share the same soul. Y'all the same person. <laughs> Somebody, somebody didn't really exactly get what that meant as far as y'all share the same soul, twin flame type thing. Like that's not something that's common. Okay, the twin, there's twin flames only exist within 144,000 of chosen people who were chosen to come and change the world. They were, they were chosen to come and show the world love, give love give freely and just be in an energy of love. Somebody didn't exactly understand what that meant. And the, so within that 144,000, you all have a twin flame, okay? There's all, there's a match to each one of you, okay? Yeah, somebody was being stubborn and lying. Somebody decided to keep being stubborn, keep lying, keep, you know, they were lying. This, this masculine was lying on their empress and betraying their empress. It was secretly, they were truly obsessed. They were obsessed with this person. Okay. What else? What, what's this two of pentacles? That shit's so disappointing. What's this two of pentacles? Two of pentacles. Somebody's stuck in their head. Be dreaming about you. Fantasizing about you. Somebody just wishes they could come towards you. But they have too much pride to um, apologize. Yeah, they desire you. They want to come towards you, but they're stubbornly holding back. They, they can't come towards you because that will make them look stupid for everything that they were saying to you, saying about you, all the excessive drama that they brought towards you, all the excessive altercations, all the shit that they were saying to, about you behind your back, but smiling in your face. And, you know, they it would make them look really dumb if they came towards you. So they can't, they can't. They can't come towards you because they tried to make it. Like I said, they want to come and apologize, but they can't because they're too stubborn. They're too stuck in their head. They, they care too much about their image and how they look to other people. Yeah, here we go. They gave they got stuck with a copycat. They got stuck with the Queen of Pentacles who was pretending to be the actual Empress. And now they see that because, you know, shit hit the fan. And yeah. Yeah, now somebody's stuck in their feelings. Could be still stuck in the past. Just sad, cause this the you know somebody didn't know they didn't he didn't have to do what he did to you, Empress. He didn't have to do that, cause you showed this person nothing but genuine love. You guys connected and was never it was never a um okay come fuck me and I I pay you or none of that. It was none of that. It was it was no there was no exchange of finances. There was no. You know, you weren't greedy with this person. You genuinely were giving true love to this person, right? So, yeah. Let's see. What's this Queen of Wands in reverse? Queen of Wands in reverse was a fake reader, okay? Somebody was a fake reader. Somebody got was giving out faulty readings. Somebody gave out... She, yeah, she was, she was pretending to be you, Empress. If you're a reader, this person was pretending to be you. Pretending to be a, a divinely guided reader when they're not. They was pretending to be the person who your emperor was meant to be with and they're not. They started copying your style, doing everything like you. I mean, whatever it was, it's over with. This situation is done dead. It's over with. 
And then the whole time this person is like in this other, uh, in the emperor's ear, jumping to conclusions about you two being involved when you and the emperor don't talk at all. Yeah, you blocked this person. Or this person, this emperor blocked you and you were this person's gift. I'm getting ready to pull out this energy. Let's see, yeah, lying, blackmail. Somebody was blackmailing, lying. Somebody was blackmailing and lying. What's this five of wands? I'm sorry, y'all. I get tired of talking about it because it's like, it's sad to me. Like, how are you stuck in the past? Five of wands, somebody was stuck in the past. Altercation, somebody was stuck in the past. Um, going through the same old drama over and over and over again. It's five of wands. This is skeletons being exposed. People, it's getting exposed. People are getting exposed for how who they are and who they what was really going on. The truth is here, it's coming out, and yeah, yeah. This person also could have been in a in like a long term relationship with somebody and could have came to you and been involved with you while they were in a relationship and did not tell you even though you asked them and then went back and told the person who they were in a relationship with and allowed this person to try to destroy you and talk bad about you and they did not stand up for you and say what was really going on and how they did not tell you and how they lied to you. They did not express this. So now somebody's stuck in their feelings. What's this page of swords? So they had a whole bunch of people ganged up on you, making it seem like you were a home wrecker, like you was just this and that. And me, the whole time, the emperor was lying. The emperor lied to you and didn't tell you what was going on. Yeah, somebody's, these obsessed people want to apologize now with this page of swords. They watching you and they just want to say sorry. They want to apologize for everything that they were doing. Because somebody was addicted to, yeah, whatever choices they made. Somebody has to make a choice and a decision. These people are doing, these people were doing black magic, not only over you, there was, these people were doing black magic over you, Empress, and these people were doing black magic over the Emperor. And now this person realizes what was going on. And this black magic has also drove in somebody crazy. Somebody literally has lost all their damn scruples. They don't have no mind. And somebody is getting getting uh, free of this situation. Or it's time for you to cleanse your space and free yourself of this situation. Because transformation is here and it's destined. This can this is not there's nothing that's gonna stop that. Somebody is really surprised about. Or these people are surprised there's rumors going on about you transforming and how you releasing the energy and going to someone else or going in a new direction. And people are just surprised. But I feel like this empress don't want nothing to do with this emperor unless um, until this person like apologizes for lying. Yeah, and blackmailing them. And possibly they could have possibly took a video or something like that. And we're spreading around a video. They just were, they, or they could have exposed your messages where you were pouring out your heart to this person, being genuine with this person. And they could have exposed you and try to make it seem like, oh, you was just all over them and, you know, uh, mentally unstable and crazy. Like, oh, yeah, I only put it on this person one time. And yeah, look at her now. She all over me type shit. So I did a lot to really betray you, Empress. But it's all coming out. It's all exposed. It's all. You know about it. Everybody know about it. And, you know, everybody's business just out there. That's why, you know, it's not good to be like... It's not good to try to be all up in people's face. This empress I'm talking about, don't don't be in nobody's face. She don't like messy drama. She don't like being in folks' face. She don't like people in her business, in her space. Nobody knows what's really, truly going on with this empress. That's just how low-key she is. So this emperor really kind of... It's like, it's a turnoff for the Empress, the way that this Emperor was behaving and the stuff that he ended up dragging her through because she's so low key, but she got people, there's people coming at her in this like nasty, evil way based off of what this Emperor is saying. So I don't know what's gonna end up happening. Let's see, what's the end result? Spirit. <clears throat> What's the end result? Now that the truth is out, everybody know what the hell been going on, what the fuck really happened, what's going on? <laughs> Excuse my facial expressions one day. 
supposed to be tired. <laughs> Enlightenment. Okay, what's going on with the hang what the hangman coming out in reverse enlightenment? Somebody's very confident in what they're doing, starting new creative projects, somebody's very balanced. Uh what else? Yeah, they somebody sees who was ultimately being weak. Somebody realizes that somebody was being weak. King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. I mean Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, there's some enlightenment here. Somebody knows what's really going on. What's good? What who's good? What's somebody knows. Okay, somebody knows what's going on. And then we got the somebody can't manipulate someone anymore with these apologies as well. Yeah, or, yeah. What's this hang man in the reverse? But yeah, enlightenment, the truth coming out. So the truth coming out. What's gonna end up happening with this Queen of Wands? Queen of Wands is the King of Cups. Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, Seven of Wands. Yeah, this person, yeah. Whoever this this gossip against this person was rejected. Okay, this is rejected and this person is protected. Whoever this Queen of Wands is, it's gonna be you or the other person. Who is this uh, Queen of Pentacles? This is the person from the past who was um, in comfort. This is the other woman or whatever. This person who's always got drama and shit going on. This person, that's the person from the past. Queen of Pentacles, okay? Yeah, now they're stuck inside their head because they're being exposed. What's this uh, strength in reverse? Strength in reverse. Some, yeah, like I said, somebody feels weak. They can't they can't move forward. They're, they're out in the cold. Somebody can, somebody can no longer uh, manipulate somebody to and so somebody's magic is no longer working to um yeah somebody can no longer manipulate somebody it's not working no more on this empress somebody cannot manipulate this emperor i mean this emperor this queen of pentacles can no longer manipulate this emperor and do magic over this person's mind to make them work with them what's this page of cups yeah emperor don't want to have sex no more Emperor don't want to have sex. It was like this. They don't want to have sex. They won't even get up no more. So, justice. Justice, justice, justice. What's this page of cups? Somebody's also getting a message about... Somebody's getting some type of proof about the black magic too. Page of cups. So, somebody... Um, <clears throat> trying to win at all costs. When it all costs, somebody's an illusion. Somebody's using their intuition to see through these illusions and how seeing how somebody was putting themselves in competition with this star, lying on this star, with this family. Somebody hasn't. Somebody's intuition is just too. They they're intuitive as hell. They can't. You can't really get much past this Queen of Cups, this Empress. You're not getting. You're not getting shit past this person. So, mm. somebody is very much a wish fulfillment as well because they are an earth angel they give love without expecting anything in return that's an earth angel for you this person is very grounded very nurturing very loving and they ain't deserve nothing that they went through. All right, y'all. I'm pulling out this energy. I'm not tired of talking about it, to be honest. <laughs> um, I'll see you in the next one. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe. Whether this reading resonates with you or not, type in the comments, I am victorious. Know that you are and will always be. See you in the next one. Bye.